Beginner Amazon sellers are doing product research all wrong. Most of the time, you are finding products that don't even make you enough profit. You can spend the same amount of time looking for a product that makes $1,000 per month or $10,000 per month. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to do Amazon product research so you end up with a product that has the highest potential to make over $10,000 in profit every month. Stop doing product research all on your own because in the next few minutes, I am going to show you the most important steps so you end up with a winning product and not a loser. If you guys find any value in this video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and help me give this video a huge thumbs up. Today, we will be focusing on Amazon product research to help us find winning products that profit over $10,000 every month. So this is not revenue. This is not sales. This is $10,000 every month that goes straight into your bank account. So first, we are going to pull up our Helium 10 software. Go to Tools and then go to Amazon product research. You cannot run an Amazon FB business without a software tool because we need this to find winning products. You guys can get 20% off Helium 10 by using my discount code right here. I will also link it in the YouTube description below. Just click on that link to claim 20% off. So we are going to do something a little different today. Usually when I do Amazon product research tutorials, I focus on toys and games because that is the category that I sell in. However, let's do something different. Let's go to kitchen and dining. There's a ton of unrestricted products in this category, so we will focus on this today. We will uncheck bakeware and cookware because I think there may be some electronics that will pop up and we do not want to sell electronics. Let's keep going down. Food service equipment and supplies. I'll just leave that there. Small appliance parts. I'm going to uncheck that because again, there may be some electronics. Water coolers and filters. I definitely do not want to sell a big water cooler because this is a product that you can buy at Costco and there's not much differentiation that can go into a water cooler. That's just the first thing that comes to mind. So I'm going to uncheck that. All right, now moving along, I am going to look at review count and I'm just going to put in 900. So this is telling me that I am only going to focus on products that have less than 900 reviews. Why 900? Because if I put a review count in here that's like 5,000 or 10,000, I will likely end up with a very competitive and saturated product, which I do not want because I don't want too much competition. Some competition is good, but too much is never good because other sellers are already dominating the market. So if you go in there and try to sell your product, it's very hard to compete. Shipping size, we are going to do small and large. I never do oversize because these are really big items that a lot of us cannot afford to even source. Weight maximum is three pounds. I'm just going to go a little heavier today because we usually stick with uh, under two pounds. Fulfillment is FBA. And then the most important part is monthly revenue. Now keep in mind, revenue is just the amount of sales that you make. We will talk more about profit near the end of this video. But for monthly revenue, I want to start off with something high, such as 30,000 in revenue all the way to 100,000. Or if you cannot find many products, then maybe 150,000. So I'm just going to stretch it to 150,000. Now, this may seem like a lot, but it is not. And I will explain that a little later on. By the way, if you guys are new to selling products on Amazon and you need help with finding winning products, then make sure you get my free training for Amazon in the YouTube description below. 
Click on the free training link, enter your name, enter your email address, and watch the training to the end because you get to apply for a free one-on-one -on -one call with my team, and they will walk you through the entire process on how you can find profitable products to sell on Amazon that will give you nice profit margins and that will pay you every single month. Now we will hit search. You do not have to fill in the entire criteria to find good products. I find that if you fill in the most important options, then you will be working with a good amount of products to choose from. So we have eight products that came up. This is good news. This tells me that I'm not looking through pages and hundreds of different products. Let's see what I want to sell. So I have a shaker bottle here. I'm not going to sell a shaker bottle because you guys already know that this product you can find even at the dollar store. So we do not want to find products that are too common that you can buy down the street because people will just buy it there and if we were to sell it on Amazon, I probably do not have a chance to make money because, well, someone else is already making $130,000 every month. So this is another shaker bottle. This is a spice rack. I think this is too big and too expensive. You see the price is $43.99. One thing to keep in mind is that when you are choosing products to sell on Amazon, if the price point is higher, then you can expect to pay a higher cost per unit as well. So if I look up Spice Rack Organizer on Alibaba.com, I guarantee you that I will be spending a lot just to source one unit, probably looking at eight to ten dollars. That's just an estimate. Another shaker. This is a quart screw. I don't want to sell a quart screw because I don't think I can improve it. It just comes to mind where I think immediately there's not much I can differentiate. A shaker. Okay, so this is a good one. This is a bathroom countertop organizer. And this seller is selling it for $28.99. This is good. I'm going to take a guess and I'm going to say that it probably costs anywhere around $4 to source on Alibaba, maybe $5. So that's something we can all afford, right? I'm sure you guys can afford a few bucks per unit. So this is cost friendly. I just know this from experience because I've been doing this for a long time. They are making over $34,000 in revenue a month. And I can tell right away that the storefront is a Yiao Oz store. So this is very unlikely that they are a huge brand. Usually big brands in the kitchen and dining category might be KitchenAid or Rubbermaid or, you know, something that you hear very often. So I know right away this is probably not a big brand, which is good news because I can probably compete with them. So let's click on this arrow right here and let's check this guy out. So this is a three tier bathroom countertop. And right away, I know that there is room for differentiation because maybe the quality of the wood needs to be more sturdy. Maybe customers want a bigger organizer. Maybe they don't like this metal piece right here, or maybe I can change this to plastic so it's lighter so I may pay less in FBA fees as well. Or maybe customers are saying, I want two tier, which is right here, there's a two tier, or maybe they want four tier. So every time you guys have a product idea, you just want to ask yourself some common questions like, can I differentiate it? Can I make it better? Because like I said, if I were to source a corkscrew, there's nothing that comes to mind that can help me make this better. Or with that um, water container or filter we were looking at earlier. That's why I unchecked that subcategory because the first thing that comes to mind is I don't think I can differentiate or make it better. It's just a very standard type of product. So anyway, let's check out how much it costs to source on Alibaba.com. I'm just going to take this main keyword, which is three tier bathroom countertop organizer. So you guys will do the same for your product idea. Just take the main keyword and then type it into Alibaba.com and hit on search. I want to know how much it costs me per unit because if it costs too much, I probably do not want to sell this product. You should find a product that you are okay with sourcing in terms of pricing because sometimes you might find a winning product that seems ideal like this one right here for $43.99 
But when it comes to sourcing it, you may think, oh, it's just way too expensive and you don't want to source it. So you just wasted a bunch of time. So I'm looking for anywhere around a few bucks because that's what I am comfortable with. So right here, this is perfect. Three tier bathroom countertop. It goes for as low as $3.96. So let's click on this supplier. I do suggest you guys to find suppliers on Alibaba.com that are verified. Verify means this company is legit. They have been inspected and it's very unlikely that they will try to scam you. So it also says that they have been in business for five years. You guys can creep the supplier and read more about them before choosing them to be your supplier. Now, the prices that you see right here are just estimates. Depending on how you want to customize your product, it can end up to cost less or it can end up to cost more. But for me, I am okay with four to five bucks per unit. So I can contact the supplier and ask them to customize my product, differentiate it, and then sell my own version on Amazon. Now, before we get too excited about this product, I want to look at one of the most important details about this product, which you all probably have guessed, and that is profit. What matters selling on Amazon for most of you guys is profit. So we want to go to the profitability calculator using Helium 10. If you do not have your Helium 10 Chrome extension, this will not pop up. So make sure you go to your Chrome web store and install Helium 10 Chrome extension to start using this tool. Okay, so they have their listed price right here. You can always sell yours for a different price. But what I think I want to do just by looking at this product is I probably want to make it lighter. So their outbound shipping weight is a little over three pounds. Three pounds is okay, but I could probably customize this organizer with my supplier on Alibaba to make it lighter. Maybe I don't want it to be wooden. Maybe I can add some plastic in there, or maybe I can make it smaller. Whatever the case, one thing you guys should consider is a lighter product. When your product is lighter, you pay less in FBA fees and you pay less for freight costs. So you can always get an estimate for freight costs from your freight forwarder or your supplier if they are doing the shipping from Alibaba to the Amazon warehouse for you. So this profit margin is just under 30%, which is not bad. And their ROI per unit is 97%. This is an ideal product to sell. So if I go back here, for example, now that I know their profit margin, Helium 10 was estimating it to be around 29%. Let's check out their revenue one last time so we can do some math. So for this three tier bathroom countertop organizer, their monthly revenue is $34,000. So let's type that in here. I love to do math and no, I don't. I'm just showing you guys. So multiply that by 29% because that was their profit margin, right? That means this seller is bringing home over $10,000 in profit every month. And if you were to sell a two tier bathroom countertop organizer, maybe the three tier is too expensive for you or you don't want to do it and you want to start off smaller, uh, this seller here is making over $26,000 in revenue per month. And I'm going to multiply that by around 29%. They are profiting $7,600 every month. So there's a lot of money to be made if I were to compete with this one seller on Amazon. They have a big enough piece of the pie for me to steal some sales from. Now, another way to look up other sellers and see how they are doing by selling this product all I need to do is go to amazon.com and type in this keyword. I type in my main keyword and now I can see all of the other countertop organizers being sold on Amazon. And it looks like a lot of these actually have very low reviews. Look at that, 539 reviews, 127 reviews. 434, like this actually might just be a good product if you guys don't mind paying a little more cost per unit, closer to $5 per unit. So this is looking good. Let me just check the Helium 10 X-ray product research. 
to see um, the revenue for other sellers. I want to know, are other sellers making money as well, or is it just this one seller? Because if it's just one seller that's making money, then that tells us that maybe this is the only top seller, or maybe if I try to compete with this one top seller, it's going to be harder for me to take a piece of the pie because I'm competing against one seller compared to like 20 other ones, right? So when there are other people making money on Amazon, it's actually a good sign. A lot of beginners think, I don't want to compete with anybody. I just want to be the top seller. I want to be the only seller of something. That's actually a poor mindset to have because if you have no competition, then you have no demand. You need some demand in business to see that customers actually want to buy your product. So it looks like um, this is a makeup stand, so that does not count. Let's just trash this guy. But there are plenty of other three tier organizers here that are making money. Oh, this one's another makeup one. Well, I guess this can work if it's for like vanity sake. So I guess that's okay. But what I'm trying to say is there are other sellers here making much more than what this seller is making, $34,000. And then we have over 10 sellers making over 30 grand right here in revenue. So this tells me, okay, I have competitors and there is even more money on Amazon for this specific product. If I come in here with average reviews of only 411, I can probably make money with this product. I hope this video has helped you guys today to find your winning product to sell on Amazon that can profit over $10,000 every month. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Again, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video.